In this fine art edition of the Russell Brown Show, I'm going to be demonstrating something called Pixel Bender, as you see right here. Now, Pixel Bender is a set of plugins that work in Adobe Photoshop CS5, and you can download this and add this to your version of Photoshop CS5 from the Adobe Labs webpage, which I'll demonstrate in just a moment. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be specifically working with something called oil paint. I'm going to demonstrate it right now. I'm going to run oil paint on this standard image and check it out. It then puts in this winding and curving painting like effect over the image. Now you're saying to yourself, this is a little bit like the early days of fine edges and everybody thinking that was instant art. Well, yes, this is a little bit like instant art, but in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to take it beyond just the normal instant art and add your own qualities to it using some of the new features found here in CS5. And in fact, I'm going to start with this image and I'm going to end up with something that looks like this. So I can add in and manipulate the way in which Pixel Bender and the Oil Paint plugin works on your image. Let's go back to my original, in fact, let's go back in time right here and let's get started. To begin with, you need to install the Adobe Pixel Bender plugin for Adobe Photoshop CS5 into your version on the Mac or the PC. You'll go to this website you see right here. You'll locate the download link as you see here. You'll download it and then follow the Getting Started tutorial right here as you find on this website. Once you've installed it, then we can get started right over here in Photoshop. And of course, you'll need to quit from Photoshop, install it, and then start Photoshop again. Okay, let's get going. Of course, here's my original image. Now there's something I want to point out though. Here under the image menu and under image size, notice that the size of my image, the width and height values are less than 3,000 pixels in dimension. I find that I get my best results and least memory error messages if I keep my width and height below a value of 3,000. So now you know. I'm going to cancel from that because this is pretty good. Okay, once again, I'm going back up here to my filter menu, down here to Pixel Bender, and over to Pixel Bender Gallery right here. And this is how we would start this process. And I select it. Here you can see that I have a variety of different Pixel Bender settings or filters I can use, but in this particular case, I'm selecting oil paint. Now here are the settings I like to use. I set my stylization all the way over to 10. Notice if I move it to the left, it's not quite the same value. It's not that same streaking brush stroke like value. So that's at 10. I keep my cleanliness over to 15. Once again, there are occasions when I reduce the cleanliness for different effects, but in this particular case, I really like this strong brush stroke quality. Colorization. Colorization tends to be something you're going to change for different images, but notice you get much more contrast to your strokes down here in the values near 1.5, 1.54, as you see here. Again, this will vary from image to image. Brush scale. Now, of course, on different images, you may select a different brush scale. I like something right in this area. Of course, I'm looking to enhance and make this brush scale obvious so it looks like a painting. Finally, brush contrast, right down here. If I move this all the way to the left, there's not much contrast. What I really like, once again, is to see those brush strokes. And of course, this is something I like and you may like different variations. And the bottom line is that these different settings let you create different effects using this oil paint plugin. I then click OK as my first step, just like that. Now that's my first try at this. You may like what you see here, but we can enhance this and make it much more interesting. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. I'm going to select Command-Z on the Macintosh or Control-Z on the PC 
to undo what I've just done. Notice here under the filter menu, I can redo this at any time by selecting oil paint right here or selecting Command F on the Macintosh or Control F on the PC. And you're going to use that in this process. In just a minute, you'll see my workflow. Next, I'm going to go down here and select the new Mixer Brush Tool. And that's a key player in this whole process. The new Mixer Brush Tool is selected right there. Here from the Options bar, I like to work with this brush right here. It's called the Flat Fan High Bristle Count Brush as a starting point. I'm going to select that. Clicking away, I'm then going to select the Very Wet Heavy Mix setting. This default setting here at the top sets up my wet, load, and mix values here across the top. These settings work really well for this first step.